Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and in this video I'll be showing you how to install the VCO with the voltage feed point modification that I have available for sale. So let's get started. So we need to remove the VCO from the radio which looks like this. So on the other side of the radio you'll see the points that we need to desolder and we need to remove this capacitor. So with your favourite soldering iron we'll remove this capacitor and we can discard this capacitor as we don't need it anymore because the VCO has one built on board. So, with a desoldering tool, desolder braid, vacuum pump, unsolder these points. And from the other side of the radio, carefully wiggle the VCO until it comes out. If it doesn't come out, check your desoldering. And there, the VCO is out. So this VCO we're going to be fitting today has got the voltage feed point modification. So it's got an extra wire connected to it and we're going to connect that to the radio's regulated 9 volt supply. But for the moment we'll just put the VCO into the radio and get it soldered in. So you'll notice that this VCO has only got 4 connection points instead of the 5 because the 5th one being the wire. So making sure we've got the pins lined up for the correct holes, drop the VCO into the radio. Now we can solder it into place. there and just cut off any excess legs like I say we don't need that capacitor so just trim the legs down so this red wire feed it through to the other side of the circuit board Now we need to find the regulated 9 volt supply from the radio which is normally done from the AVR which on this multi-mode 2 is Q44. Check your circuit diagram for your radio to get the correct one. But you can see we have three connections on the AVR so with our multimeter we're going to find out which is which. So 10 volts being the base, 13 being the collector, 9.4 is the emitter and that's the connection we want. We want the emitter. So on this multi-mode 2, it's that connection. So we can solder this red wire directly to this point. And that should power the VCO block. So VCO alignment, radio switched on onto the test point, check for VCO lock voltage. These VCOs do come pre-tested so it should work plug straight in, but if you've got extra bands just make sure this is adjusted to lock across all your bands. And that's it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode.